Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup look. I'm going to be talking about where I've been, what's been going on. So if you want to see how I achieve this look as well as hear about my life, then keep on watching. So first for the face, I'm going to be using Becca's Ever Matte Pore Lasting Primer. This is gonna be more of like a get ready with me. I'm not really gonna go into depth about the makeup because I figured I should fill you guys in on like where I've been and stuff and it, that would be a super long video if I wasn't doing something. This, I definitely do not recommend if you have dry skin of any sorts. Like if you're super, super oily, use this, but if not, it will dry you out and make your makeup really gross and chunky. But I'm oily, so it works out. For foundation, I'm gonna be using Stay Lauder's Double Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 2W0. So that's warm vanilla. I graduated cosmetology school. I um, was working as well as going to school and then I got into a salon and then I started working at Cosmoprof. It's like the professional version of Sally's since cosmetologists, barbers can buy their stuff. So I was pretty full booked in itself. Like I was, I don't know. I feel like I tend to overdo it at times. Like I can't have free time because then I stress myself out. Pretty much working there until I got my clientele up because I am booth rent. So I make my own schedule. I book my own clients. Uh, the summer was amazing. I'm not gonna complain at all. Like I love doing weddings. I, mean, I don't wanna say I like doing makeup more, but it's definitely always gonna be like my favorite pastime. So that kind of transgresses into like, I like to do makeup. Makeup in a sense is temporary. Like I wish I could make people feel like that every single day and follow them around and do their makeup all the time. I mean, at the end of the day, they wash it off versus hair color. Like they get to go home, they get to have it for weeks. Like it completely can change the way someone feels about themselves, the way like their confidence, like a fresh set of color. I know that sounds corny and probably to guys, like they won't really understand it, but I know you girls out there know what I'm saying. Like when you have fresh color, when you love the way like it looks, it feels, you just want to dress up. Like you literally, everything about it makes you want to like glow. This is when your hair like isn't what you want it to be or isn't looking like it's best and it's nothing new. It's kind of feel blah, like you kind of get caught in a rut type thing. I would say it's like 50-50. Um, oh, by the way, I use Shape Tape concealer. Awesome career choice. I am really glad I went through with it. I'm glad I have the support from like my friends, my family. They definitely have helped me build my clientele 100%. Like my mom <laughs> is my biggest like pimp, you could say. She gets me so many clients. Um, my boyfriend's family, his mom, has literally brought me so many clients just by passing out my card, just by, because I do her hair. Um, just by putting my name out there, my best friend, like, can do it. Like, I know when I was in beauty school, then it, again, I can do a separate video on where I went. I went to Rude's, um, my experience, like, what I thought about it, what I would change. Actually, I wanted to go to makeup school. I didn't even want to go to hair school just because the thought of ruining someone's hair and the thought of, like, someone's hair falling off because of me, that was just too much. Like, I have really high anxiety and the thought of, like, someone not liking it, if they don't like makeup, you just fix it, you just wipe it off, use a Q-tip, like no, hair color is hair color, like if you mess up, that could be a big deal. Right now this foundation looks really crazy, but stay with me. My mom is the one who pushed me to go to hair school just because she was like, you wanna know two types of things. You don't wanna be stuck in a rut where you're only available for makeup. You wanna be versatile, you wanna have a lot of clients, you wanna be able to do like, oh, I can do your hair and makeup. I can give you makeovers. Like I can do the whole thing. You don't have to go to several places, which has really worked out for me in the wedding industry. Charlotte parties, I love doing those because they're always down to do full glam. They're always down for the glitter, the bold lips. I love it. But <coughs> that's pretty much where I've been at. Oh, I was at Cosmoprof until I got my clientele up and I didn't feel like I needed like that little side job to keep me going. Now the salon is my only job. We didn't have internet for the longest time. We recently built a house out in the middle of nowhere, well my mom did, out in the middle of nowhere and they did not offer internet. We had to pretty much have them like dig the line. And I just, I don't know, I was just lazy. I was going through some personal things like anxiety has been really bad. I've been going to the doctor, all that shebang. Um, just couldn't bring myself to like I couldn't bring myself to get out of the house, but I couldn't bring myself to just turn on the camera and like film myself. I I didn't even want to hear like my own voice type thing. So that happened. Um, I pretty much was just like, I should just do it. Who cares, right? I'm pretty much gonna be trying um, different areas of the house as to where like 
I like filming better. I'm in the basement, I'm in front of a window with my ring light. I cannot figure out how to get my camera to autofocus. It's a Canon Rebel T6i. I have looked on YouTube, I've looked everywhere, and it's, I follow the directions, but I feel like it's not focusing. So I pretty much have to have like an arm span away and keep pressing the button. But I might have my friend Quinn come because he's like, a genius at that kind of stuff and help me figure it out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's slowly starting to match my neck more. Um, I have realized with those Estee Lauder foundations, the double wear is amazing. I highly recommend it. It's not that I don't like it. It just oxidizes so bad. Like it oxidizes pretty much two to three shades darker than your skin tone. I've used it since the summer and shade match me and all that stuff. And I got home and used it and went out. Within the next couple of hours, I looked ridiculous. I was so embarrassed. And I decided to go and have them um, shade match me two shades lighter. And it's been working out. Especially once I use like my setting sprays and all that. You, I have recently in the past couple months gotten a lot of new makeup. I don't know what was wrong with me. So I had the KKW, the um, Ultralight Beam collection, all of it, like all the colors, all the powders, all the glosses. If you guys want me to do a video on that, like a review, swatches, maybe you do even a makeup look with it, um, let me know. I love the powders. I even use them as highlights, but... For this video, I'm not gonna use them just in case you guys wanna see it in another video. That way it won't be repetitive. Um, I'm using the Mario Badescu uh, Aloe Spray. As far as the Rodin and Fields um, stuff, I was scared that it wouldn't react well with all the stuff I put on my face, obviously, and it's done really well. So definitely, definitely excited about that. I don't really get acne, like little, like cute acne where you can pop. I get the ones that are under the skin and are really bad, so. So far, since using that stuff, I had two, uh, you probably could see them in the video right here. They were starting to get so big and normally they, like, if I were not to do anything to them, they would last a pretty long, like almost a month. But since I've been using that, they're flat. I know they look like red and gross, but the fact that they're flat is a really big deal to me because I can cover them up and that obviously means that it's working, that it's killing it like from the inside. I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. I did, it was a lot of fun. We actually had our Christmas and then left for Texas like within a couple days. So it was a really exciting, really exciting week. I got the record player I've been wanting. I don't have that many records yet. I feel like that's pretty much gonna be like a thing that we do gift wise now, like get each other records for it. I love Frank dog is ringing its bell. If you want a video on that, let me know because we have him bell train. It's literally like being a slave. It's literally like being the maid. And he rings the bell and I have to go at his beck and call to let him outside. So one second. What was I talking about? Probably nothing important. People love this kind of weather, but I'm just not one of those people. The cold weather genuinely makes me sad. There's much to do when it's warm out either, but so you can lay out and stuff. It has a thing with getting into trash cans. Like if there is a piece of paper, a piece of toilet paper, anything paper, he is obsessed with. And he he's pretty good. If you tell him no, he will obviously stop what he's doing. But when it comes to that, he's like one track mind. Doesn't care who it is. Okay, it's kind of the way I am with food. Like I see where he gets it from. I know what I'm gonna do when I move out just because he is very, very large. And I know obviously I'm not gonna have as big of a house as my parents do. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Sleeping on the bed with me, and I know a lot of people are gonna like freak out about that and say like, that's not good dog parenting, but I literally think that's what saved me um, as far as training him wise, because he doesn't sleep with me now just cause he gets really hot. But yeah, he's a really good dog. You guys don't want me to make a video out of it and you just want like my general um, thoughts on him and Golden Doodles, 10 out of 10 would recommend, especially for a first time um, big dog owner. He, he's really good, he's really smart. But I have so many new things. I also, I really, really, really want to do um, an Anastasia, my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. I have a ton. Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I think, they had buy one, get one free. I was so broke at that time. I did not even care. I went for it. I think I got five of them, or, Eight of them, I think. Yeah, buy one because I bought four. It's so funny to me, like when guys realize that one of those things is twenty-five dollars, so four is a hundred dollars. Like, it is kind of scary to think about, but they last forever. I definitely would not say that they're like my favorite um, formula for 
liquid lips but their color is just so rich and i mean they're good like if you're gonna wear them for a couple hours they're not horrible i have the desi and katie collection the um their palette their lipsticks their gloss i love their gloss killed that collaboration i'm so sad that it was like limited time because i would have bought five over the top glosses i be using max um blue brown the little pigment on my lid wetting my brush down let me know if you guys like these whole talking through or you want me to just go back to what I was doing and just doing like the no talking, just music in the background to the point uh, eyeshadow. The way works for me. To see how hard it'll be to edit this just because there is talking. I'm not the most tech savvy person. Editing is definitely the hardest part. Do that color. Okay, but I'm gonna put my liner and lashes off camera on real quick just for the sake of the length of this video, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and put on my lashes. They are the J Lash in the style Zoe. And then I put Stila's Liquid Lip in Naughty, N-O-T-T-E. And then I paired it with Kylie, Kylie's Gloss in the shade Jolly. That was the end of this Get Ready With Me tutorial. Let me know how you guys liked it. If you want me to do more of these like talking videos or if you want me to go back to doing just pure eyeshadow, pure makeup. Um, if you want to see any videos about Dallas, about the new makeup I've gotten, also let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I wonder if it's even focusing on my face because I look like a cloud. I... It's a lot. Like... Oh. Is this thing on?